Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. For today's valued viewer request a question. It comes from no name, sorry, sometimes I forget to take the names. Cap, can you do a video on the types of formations? Probably you can't do all of them, but just do like the standards and most common ones. So, well, what we'll look at here, because DCS is a military game, we'll look at military formations in DCS. We won't look at aerobatic formations, which is going to be completely different. And we'll just use this as a kind of basic introduction to the formations. Maybe uh, later down the line, we'll do a more complex video about how to actually fly the formations, your separation distances, your angles and stuff. That's going to take a lot more research. Uh, so let's get to it. So the formations we're going to try and show today will be, firstly, line abreast. Trail, wedge, echelon right, echelon left, finger four, spread four, and if we can get it to work, we'll try the diamond. So first here we have line abreast, which is actually quite hard to fly, I find, when flying it as a human. Note that they've got a lack of vertical separation, so vertically, they're pretty much neutral. Ooh, <laughs> they didn't like it very much. Next we have trail here and note this time we do have the vertical separation so they're all flying out of each other's weight turbulence at different altitudes. Note that all of these formations can have three levels of closeness if you like. But at the moment they're set to uh, close group or you could have close which is in the middle if you like or we could have open which would be spread out quite far. Next, this is wedge formation. Now, notice in a formation like this, we split into pairs a lead element pair and a trailing element pair. And if we look here, we can see the longitudinal offset of the trailing pair, and that offset amount is going to be determined by the spread distance. Next is echelon right. So from the lead, each aircraft is offset and set to the right and backwards. And again, we've got no vertical separation because we have no need vertical separation here. All of these formations are set to close group. Next we've got echelon left which is just if you like the mirror opposite of echelon right. Here we have finger four which is probably going to be the most common so we've got one on one side and two echelons onto the other side you can have this either way around finger four left or finger four right note that if we've got four guys like this wedge and finger four should theoretically be the same next we've got two pairs and this is known as spread four Lastly, we have diamond. Now, diamond, this isn't really an official tactical formation, but we do actually use it. it does We find it, if you need to be compact, it can actually have its uses. And not quite being flown right. As we can see, the rear guy has no vertical separation, so it's right in the wake of that guy. So the rear guy, known as slot position, should actually be flown kind of down roughly where my camera is there. So it's in line and downwards underneath the jet washer. That guy, uh, the side guys can fly level in terms of altitude if they want. So that's all we've got to show for the four-man military tactical formations. Obviously, they're aerobatic formations, which is another kettle of fish. The only thing I wanted to display otherwise is that when in the Reapers, we like to kind of show off a bit and make it a bit uh, Hollywood. It's, they would, we'll fly a lot closer. We'll sometimes fly just you know a couple of feet off the wing, which I'll try and do now. If we do that, then what we'll do, as I'll try and show now, even though we're not in the wake of this jet, we'll fly with vertical separation which the AI goes don't do. Now, the reason we do that is because we have to deal with something that real pilots don't have to deal with. That is lag uh, latency on the internet. And if, for instance, that guy there, the leader, if his uh, you know, 13-year-old sister logs onto Facebook to check her emails or Facebook mails or whatever it is, then that guy may have what we call a lag spike and his plane may, will jerk back and forth along its longitudinal axis. And that's why we have to ensure that we do vertical separation like that. So if he does do the latency lag, then his plane will slide back and forth but not actually touch my wing or clip my canopy. Otherwise, I hope that helps and see you later.